the global evidence is simply overwhelming. It confirms that our decision to declare a national state of disaster and to institute a nationwide lockdown was correct and it was timely. While it is too early to make a definitive analysis of the progression of the disease in South Africa, there is sufficient evidence to show that the lockdown is indeed working. Since the lockdown came into effect, the rate at which new cases have been identified here in South Africa has slowed down significantly. From 1,170 confirmed cases on the 27th of March, the number of confirmed cases today stands at 1,934. In the two weeks before the lockdown, the average daily increase in new cases was around 42%. Since the start of the lockdown, the average daily increase has been around 4%. While we recognize the need to expand testing to gain a better picture of the infection rate, this does represent real progress. The measures we have taken, such as closing our borders and prohibiting gatherings, as well as the changes that we have had to each take in our behavior, have definitely slowed the spread of the virus. But the struggle against the coronavirus is far from over. We are only at the beginning of a monumental struggle that demands our every resource and our every effort. We cannot relax and we cannot be complacent. In the coming weeks and months, we must massively increase the extent of our response and expand the reach of our interventions. We are learning both from the experiences of other countries and from the evidence we now have about the development of the pandemic in South Africa. Both make a clear and compelling case to proceed in a manner that is cautious and properly calibrated. Simply put, if we end the lockdown too soon or too abruptly, we risk a massive and uncontrollable resurgence of the disease. We risk reversing the gains that we have made over the last few weeks and rendering meaningless the great sacrifices that we have all made. Fellow South Africans, this evening I stand before you to ask you to endure even longer. I have to ask you to make even greater sacrifices so that our country may survive this crisis and so that tens of thousands of lives may be saved. After careful consideration of the available evidence, the National Coronavirus Command Council has decided to extend the nationwide lockdown by a further two weeks beyond the initial 21 days. This means that most of the existing lockdown measures will remain in force until the end of April. We will use the coming days to evaluate how we will embark on risk-adjusted measures that can enable a phased recovery of the economy, allowing the return to operation of certain sectors under strictly controlled conditions. 